Okay, I've never made a video before, so we're going to just go for it and see what happens. This is my craft room in uh, a work in progress. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be a work in progress because uh, it seems like I'm always trying to finish a project and can't ever get around to doing it. But um, I just recently moved it from basically a closet into what was my husband's um, our office slash music room. So I kicked out the drums and instead we went to Ikea. Um, and um, I'm really happy with how it's come together. It's a very small space that, um, oh, there's a reflection, that um, I've managed to cram a lot into. These were old um, storage things I had in my other craft room from Michael's and um, I've moved them back in here just to store paper that honestly I really don't um, even use. What's weird about having a craft room now that is bigger than I've had a space before I can't, uh, if it's not accessible or visible, I am just not as likely to use it. Um, sort of like having a galley kitchen where if it's all within reach, you're more likely to be much more productive. Um, anyway, this is the typical scrapbooker's um, expedite, expedite, however you want to say it, unit from Ikea that I have um, most... Uh, all of the scrapbooks and photos and some other things I haven't gotten around to using yet and organizing and um, lots of paper and some layouts at the top. That's the door out of our room. Here is the desk and my computer. Um, our computer. And um, printer and another um, unit from Ikea that I actually use to store um, all of my silhouette blades and mats and things like that, which is nice to have it right there next to the silhouette, which is um, wonderful to have. These are actually old um, wine bottle um, pieces of a cabinet that ironically fell off of our kitchen um, after we were redoing it. So I have two of those and um, they fit perfectly in here and um, worked out great for a lot of little um, cubby storage. So um, this is actually, these cabinets came from that tall one and these little ones over here came from Target in a line that I don't think they have anymore and my husband built that top for me. Um, and then this rolling file cabinet thing is from Ikea as well and it matches that um, that sort of printer cart I'm using now and in here I have um, adhesives and stamp blocks, distress inks, more ink and eventually down here um, I'll have scrap paper and thickers and things like that that I've started to kind of get organized and um, so up on the desk I have the silhouette and those kind of things, photo paper um, regular paper and then these are kind of things that I want to grab right away um, six by six pads and um, little um, stamp sets new things that I need to remember to use and new paper stuff and then I hang things up here if I like them or I'm thinking about using the photos and things like that um, and I, this used to be, this entire table used to be my sewing sort of room station kind of area. Um, and now it's just in this one little corner. But um, so there's a sewing machine and um, those are scraps of paper. And um, the remainder of a um, clip it up unit, which doesn't is, is a little dusty now. And... Um, some mists and over here uh, another little cubby unit I got um, on sale but I'm not happy with um, storing washi in there it's too much of a pain to try to pull it out 
So anyway, down here I've got more um, clear stamps, woodblock stamps, Allie Edwards stamps, and then um, back over here to those units. And there I have other paper, cardstock, transparencies, um, paint, and some tools and um, stamps and lots of um, lots of paint and uh, some glitter and embossing powders and things like that and stationery cards idea books um, and this is sort of the main desk area which is actually two of the IKEA Alex unit drawer units put together and um, then one of the tabletops that we actually got there too, but my husband built it up for me a bit. You can see it so that it would be more like kind of countertop height to stand at. And which is nice because underneath I can store um, baby wipes and paper towels and um, my paper cutter and things like that to get them off the desk, which honestly... I can't remember the last time things looked this neat. Um, I have this little tray here, which I keep the latest kits and things I'm working on in to make sure they're there. And um, then the little spin unit thingy from um, Making Memories just to keep in the latest um, or things I need on hand, pens and um, adhesives and things like that. And lots of little scrappy things that somehow just managed to make its way into my um, layer craze these days. And um, that's about it. I've got lots more things to organize. Ribbons and things that honestly, you know, when you, when you start to reorganize things, you realize how little things... Um, Things that seemed important at the time aren't, and I know that's a big part of scrapbooking to me is just reorganizing things and redoing things and constantly in a, in a, you know, sort of, um, evaluation of how you use things and how things are going to be, um, manipulated and interpreted and anyway, so this is it and, um, I'm sure it will change again within another month or so. And until then, um, hopefully it will stay a little like this, um, neat-ish. And um, thanks for watching.